Well, folks, it's my 200th video here on YouTube, and I felt it necessary to take some time and set a few things straight. First off, this is my final different shirt. 200 shirts, I've never repeated a video. Tomorrow, that all comes to an end. Sorry. Moving on to something that actually matters, this may come as a shock, but I don't know everything about music. Seriously, I don't. Nobody does. Did you hear that, overly cool music guy? Nobody knows everything about music. Nobody has ever heard every band ever. To tell you the truth, when I encounter another music fanatic who seems to be getting a little too far out of their element, or maybe just trying to one-up everybody every single time, I play a little game with them. Usually I make up a band, or perhaps I'll reference to a band that I once played in, and when they say something like, like, yeah man, I've seen F plus in the no GTs four or five times, I know they're completely lying and I can handle the conversation from a different perspective. But here's the point, there's absolutely nothing wrong with admitting that you've never heard of a band or an artist from any point in history, even if they're a band that people consider seminal or an essential band to music knowledge. Half the fun of music is that there's always going to be someone you haven't heard, somewhere you're not familiar enough with, things like that. And one of the best things about running this channel is that on an almost weekly basis, I get emails from people saying, hey, have you ever heard of these guys? check this band out, this is my new band, stuff like that. And it turns me on to new stuff I've never heard of, albums I haven't really explored, new bands, you name it, I love it. Also, admitting right away that you don't know an artist very well, if at all, really lets other people geek out a little bit, and it's likely that they'll quickly turn you on to the best of that performer in question. So being forthcoming about your own musical gaps is only gonna work to your benefit. Secondly, just because I have this super fancy YouTube channel and a book on music coming out in two weeks, it doesn't mean that if I say a band or a song sucks, you're not allowed to like it, or even love it. Music is a very personal thing, and what you dig really comes down to your own personal taste. There are a number of bands and albums that I absolutely adore that over the decades critics have absolutely panned. But I like what I like, and I never have any problem defending the music I love. Just because you haven't heard the entire recorded catalog of The Velvet Underground or Sun Ra doesn't mean you have any less right or knowledge to defend the music that you love. So maybe you really liked that Shlomo record, or the most recent Red Hot Chili Peppers release. Good for you. If you enjoy it, enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with that. If the music speaks to you, it shouldn't matter what anybody else has to say about it. Stand strong by the music you love. Remember, one man's John Coltrane is another man's U2. The best part about music is that there's always new things to explore, new sounds to hear, new artists to discover. So just make sure you don't paint yourself into a corner where you're no longer willing to listen to an artist or a genre simply because of what somebody else said about them. Don't let your love for an artist, a song, an album be skewed by another person person's opinion, and always be on the lookout for wannabe posers trying to pretend that they are the daily guru. <laughs>